Lord. For all my sins. Thank you for your blood. Your blood cleansing. We come to you. Give us the power of peace. Oh, my God.
So 
I, ha- I have to admit that I have a bad habit, um, something that I do every morning and every night. It's not, it's not bad, but it's not really good for me either. And maybe you do this also, but one of the first things I do in the morning and one of the first things I do at night is I often will take out my telephone and I'll check the news. And I say it's a bad habit because if you read the news, it's very depressing. It makes you feel really bad. My wife's aunt, um, my wife's uh, aunt had cancer uh, a few years ago. And the doctor told her, as part of her treatment, he said, stop reading the newspaper, stop watching the news. He said, it's not good for your health. But I like to read it. <laughs> and if you watch the news today, you see that the world we live in is very uncertain. You don't know what's happening. The world is full of uncertainty and full of danger. How many of you, and you can raise your hand, how many of you have experienced difficulty in your life? I think everybody, everybody. How many of you right now don't know what's going to happen in the future? We live in a very uncertain world. There are wars in the Ukraine, there's rumors of war, maybe with China, Taiwan. And it's not just danger in the world, but it's danger towards Christians also. You know, now we are in the Easter season. I remember, I think you remember too, that maybe four years ago, there was a, a terrorist attack in Sri Lanka. Remember, I think uh, two Catholic churches, one evangelical churches, many hotels were bombed. And I think over 200 people were killed. This is horrible. But it's not surprising. If you have your Bible, turn to Matthew chapter 10. Matthew chapter 10, verse 24. So I'm going to read Matthew 10, 25 through 31. It is enough for students to be like their teachers and servants like their masters. If the head of the house 
has been called Beelzebub, how much more the members of his household. So, don't be afraid of them, for there is nothing concealed that will not be disclosed, or hidden that will not be made known. What I tell you in the dark, speak in the daylight. What I whisper in your ear, proclaim from the roofs. Do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? Yet not one of them will fall to the ground outside of your father's care. And even the very hairs on your head are numbered. So don't be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Should the Matthew, the Havin party, the Visipahite, this second of Kapikimo, Golia Tamagi Guru Ram in the Dasia Tamagi Swami, I mean the Unut own tatter, Ohun Gay Swami at the Belshebuya, Kiwona, oh, who gave Vesian to Copaman of Edian Noki and Ebevin Nubalata by Ebevin, Ohunta by Noe and the Magnisade, Prakash and Oana, Vesi Tibet at the Aquat. Janakanu Noloban now Sangavi Tibana de Aquat Nata, Mavisin Numbala Tadure di Kiana de Numbala Elie di Kiana, Numbalage Kanata Rahasin Asana de Geval Uda di Pekasha Karana, Sarire Nasana Namut Atme Nasanta Nupuluan, Iol to buy no one, it Atme the Sarire de Nire, Vinasakaran the Puluan and Wahan Satan of Bayawin, Gay Kurulan, Dedeneku Satekata, No Vikunande, it Ungen, Ekenequat. Nubalagi Piara Nasi, Nodunuatu, Bimata Vatine Nate, Nubalagi Sieru Isake, Isake Gas Pawa Ganan Karatibe, Ebevim by Noande, Nubala, Boho, Gekurulantavada, Watinavai, Ame, Ame. Let's pray. Father God, thank you for your word. Piakna Kamuswami Nasa, Ape Piani Nibahansi, should the Watin in his duty. We ask that your Holy Spirit would help us to understand your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so this is a little bit of a strange uh, passage. Jesus is speaking and he is talking to his disciples. He has just gathered them together and he told them, I'm going to send you out into the world to preach for me. But it's very interesting what he says and it's interesting what he does not say. If you were going to send someone out to do a job, you probably would tell them, it's going to be good, you're going to have a good time, it's going to be a great experience. But Jesus, he tells them, be prepared because you are going to face persecution. And we see this all throughout the Bible that Jesus says that to follow him is difficult and often we will experience persecution. Now in the passage we read, he gives five commands, five things that he commands us to do. I'll just tell you very quickly the commands. He says, in, 20, in verse 26, he says, Do not be afraid. In verse 27, he says, Speak in the light, preach from the housetops. In verse 28, he says again, Do not be afraid. In verse 29, 
in verse 28 also he says you should fear God. And in verse 31 he says again do not be afraid. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to just read through these verses one by one and just talk a little bit about what they mean. Okay, so we read verse 25. Let's read 24 and 25 one more time. The student is not above the teacher, nor the servant above his master. It is enough for the students to be like their teachers and the servants like their masters. If the head of the house has been called Beelzebub, how much more will the members of the household? Okay, so Jesus is saying that the student um, is not above their teacher. And that a servant is not above their master. Why is he saying this about when he's talking about persecution? Because he's saying that the student, us, the disciple, we can't expect to have things any better than our king had them. Jesus is saying that if people mistreat you because you're a Christian, then you are in good company because they mistreated him because he was the Christ. He says that if they call the head of the household Beelzebub, now, what he's saying is, Jesus is saying, I am the head of the household, and they are calling me the devil. If the world is calling Jesus like he's Satan, then of course the world is going to also attack us. But he calls you members of the household as well. And we can take hope from this because we are part of the family of God. But don't be surprised as a Christian when you experience trouble because of the name of Jesus. Uh, Philippians 1.29 says, says, For it has been granted to you on behalf of Christ, not only to believe in him, but also to suffer for him. Amen. Again, followers of Jesus can't expect to be treated better than the world treated Jesus. So Jesus 
back in Matthew chapter 10, in verse 26, he says, So, don't be afraid of them, for there is nothing hidden that will not be disclosed. There is nothing hidden that will not be made known. Verse 26. Sudah mati. Dah hari ni pada tiada visi hari ni pada tiada cerai api balam. Visi hari ni pada ikhlas tari re nasun dan namut. Ebagai ini orang terbaik noan. Ebagai ini orang terbaik noan makni sahaja perkasa noan nau wesi tiba nanti ya jana kanu no laban nau sanggupi tiba nanti ya kuat nanti kila unas sepau senawa. Jesus says. As disciples of Him, we don't need to be afraid of the persecution. Because everything is true that you believe. He's saying that one day, even the world will all know that it's true. Paul says that one day every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. So Jesus is saying when you experience trouble for being a Christian, you don't have to be afraid because what you believe is true. Verse 27, I tell you what I tell you in the dark, speak in the daylight, what I whisper in your ear, proclaim from the roofs. Why does he say what I speak in the dark, what I whisper in your ear? I think it's because he's talking about that you as a believer in Jesus, have an intimate relationship with Him. We can go to God in the secret private place and He can speak to us and we can tell Him our heart. And he says, in the face of persecution, we need to have boldness. Why? Well, in verse 28 it says, Don't be afraid of those who can kill the body but not the soul, but rather be afraid of the one who can destroy both the soul and body in hell. Our enemies can kill our bodies. But they can only hurt the body. They cannot kill the soul. People, men cannot destroy you. They can only send you on to heaven. But Jesus does say, we do need to have the fear of God in our life. The Bible says that the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. And then these next verses, I love them. It says, Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? Yet not one of them will fall to the ground outside of the Father's care. 
විසිනමෙනි පදේ කියන වගේ කරුල්ලන් දෙදෙනෙකු සතේකට නොකි නොවිකුන්නේද ඒත් උන්ගෙන් එක කෙනෙක්වත් උඹලාගේ පියාණන් වහන්සේ නොදනුවත් බිමට වැටෙන්නේ නැත කියලා පවසනවා Even the very hairs on your head are numbered don't be afraid you are worth more than many sparrows තිස්සනි පදේ කියන උඹලාගේ සියලු ඉසකේ ගස් පවා ගණන් කර තිබේ කියනවා God is in control of everything in the world ुलास values you e watane pawsana debiya nase numbala gane na apa gana salakanna o debiya nase kila unase porondu vela sitinawa you are very valuable to god ek nisa debiya nase idri oba anarga wena unase idri pilli gana sitina kene kila unase porondu vela sitinawa and he says again don't be afraid unase navathatta kiyenawa baye wenne pa kila unase obata mata pawsanawa How can Jesus say this? Don't be afraid when people are trying to kill you. Don't be afraid when people are talking bad about you. Don't be afraid when people treat you wrong because of me. How can he say this? Kohma Jesus me de kiyanne manusya api oy marande di apata chodana karadi apata viruddho mechchara senage sitiddi ai Jesus wahanse apata kiyanne baaya wende pa kiyala kisima deekata. He can say it because he experienced it himself. මක්නිසා දුන්නාසේ දේ අපිට කියන්නේ උන්නාසෙත් මේ වගේම ප්‍රීඩා දුක් වින්ද නිසා මේ වගේ මිනිස්යන්ගෙන් සර්ජන ලැබපු නිසා උන්නාසේ අපිට කියන්නේ Matthew 26 verse 67 Matthew 26 විවාලම ශුද්ධ මතේව 26 වෙනි පරිච්ඡේදයේ 67 වෙනි පදයේ says This is when Jesus was about to be crucified It says that they spit in Jesus's face and they hit him with their fists and other people slapped him. Balma shuddha Matthew 26 වෙනි පරිච්ඡේදයේ 67 වෙනි පදයේ දෙසට අපි පෙරලා ගමු. එවිට ඔහු උන්නාන්සේගේ මුහුණට කෙල ගසා උන්නාන්සේට ගුටියෙන් නොය සමහරෙක් අතුල් පාර ගසා and if you turn to the next chapter 2726 අපි බලමු ඒක පරිච්ඡේදයට අපි පෙරලා ගමු 27 වෙනි පරිච්ඡේදයේ 26 වෙනි පදයට says then he re- then he released barabbas to them but had jesus flogged and handed over to be crucified should the matthew 27 වෙනි පරිච්ඡේදයේ 26 වෙනි පදයේ දෙසට අපි පෙරලා ගමු එකලෝ බරම්පාස් ඔහුට නිදහස් කර දුන්නේ නමුත් ඔහු යේසුස් වහන්සේට තලවා උන්වහන්සේ කුරුසේ යන කසුරු ලබන්න බාර දුන්නේ remember this easter season we remember what what Jesus experienced on the cross in his victory over death. Egnisa me paskali api samarana Jesus wahanse duk winda kudusa poojawa karnukata gena e malawungen jayagatta kiyala api samaranawa. He was beaten. He was punched. He was slapped for us. Egnisa Jesus wahanse apa nisa unase duk windala prida windala guti kawa. They whipped him with a whip and on the whip were pieces of bone and metal and glass so that it would tear his flesh e kase ekin unase ta taluwa e kase keravale e yakata bola wage anawalin tibuna they put a robe on him to make fun of him and the robe stuck to his open wounds e wage ma taluwa andala unase wa tuwala kara unase godak wada dunna they pressed a crown of thorns into his head उन्ना
But Jesus did this for us. He went into Jerusalem, not hiding, but for everyone to see. He knew what was coming, but he did not back down. Jesus is brave. He is courageous. And Jesus is saying to us when he sends us out, don't be afraid, be brave. And he tells us, his disciples, that if we are going to follow him, we must deny ourselves Take up our cross daily and follow him. So, how do we do it? How do we not be afraid in the face of persecution? The last Bible verse we'll look at. Hebrews chapter 12. Hebrews 12, 1 and 2. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles let us run with perseverance the race marked before us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of God. <laughs> Amen. Maybe I told this story one time a long time ago, but there was a woman in 1952, and she was a very famous swimmer. She was the first woman to ever swim across the English Channel from England to France. Her name was Florence Chadwick. Again, She was a very amazing athlete in the 1950s. She wanted to do another uh, goal. She wanted to swim from California to an island called Catalina. From California to a small island. California I don't remember, but I think it was like 20 miles or something like that. 30 kilometers or something. Um, so, she started to swim. And she had boats that were following her in case she got tired to rescue her because it was a long place. And in the boat was her mother. And her mother was saying, you can do it, don't give up. And she was swimming, and as she was swimming, a thick cloud, a heavy fog, 
settled down on the area. So here is a woman, she's swimming, she's tired, and she can't see anything in front of her because it's very foggy. And she says, I can't do it anymore. I quit. I'm not going to be able to finish. And her mom said, don't give up. You can do it. You're almost there. And she said, no, I can't do it. And she, fit, she quit and she got into the boat. And when she got in the boat, and the boat went to the shore, she realized she was almost to the shore, only like less than one mile away. She was so close. It's a true story. And afterwards, they interviewed her and they said, Why did you quit? You were so close. She said, if I could have seen the shoreline, I would have kept going. But because I couldn't see it, I lost hope. So, a few years later, she tried it again. This time, she's swimming, she's tired, and again, a heavy cloud comes and she can't see anything. But she didn't quit and she, she made it to the other side. And they said, how did you do it? And she said, because in my mind, I pictured the shore and I just kept my, my eyes on it in my mind. And the Bible tells us that we are going to experience challenges and persecution if we follow Jesus. But it says that we must fix our eyes on Jesus. We have to keep our focus on him. The world we live in is very uncertain, is very dangerous. But we don't have to be afraid. Because we trust in Jesus. If you don't know Jesus, then you do need to be afraid. Because apart from Jesus, without Jesus, we have no hope. If you don't know Jesus today, Talk to us after church and we would be glad to talk about what it means to follow him. For the rest of us, remember what Jesus says. He says, in this world, 
you will have trouble. Inisa anit kitunuwa wana api matagata baganda lokem pridawal enawa kela Jesus wanse obata mata pausala tibenawa kela. But take heart, Jesus has overcome the world. Namud matagata baganda mede hadawde tabanda Jesus wanse pavasuwa man lokem sampurnema jayaganawa kela jayagatta. He's alive. Daniel unase lokem jayagena siyalle unase jeeva manawa sitinawa. And I want to close our service a little different. So would you stand up? අපි අවසන් කරන නැනා වෙනස් ආකාරයකට අපිට පුළුවන් නැකට සිටින්න හැම කෙනෙක්ටම This is a very last minute thing brother will you grab your guitar You still have it Yeah okay come on up here Let's close with a song and celebrate Jesus okay අපි ගීතිකාවක් කියමින් අපි අවසන් කරන මත දවසේ Any song you want uh, I've decided to follow Jesus or more love more power anything just just one okay All right sorry I didn't tell you this um, Let's pray. Father God, we love you. Lord, we need your help. It's difficult to experience persecution. But we trust you. Thank you for dying for us. Obahanse distuti aponisa obahanse jivite puja karanisa. We say hallelujah Jesus is alive. Kienawa hallelujah swami nase jiva manai kila pe kienawa. We commit our lives to you this morning. Me udasa na pe jivite siyalo obahanse ge haste na pe bar karno. Jesus name. Jesus swanse ge name. Amen. One song and then we'll close, okay? Ape geet gawa kila avasan karan denawa.